stampers. Today we're going to make this witch's boot. It's so cute. We made this at Founder Circle over at Susan Adams' house, and I'm going to show you how we did it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the pieces we're going to use. We're using the black cardstock. You're going to use two of them, and these are cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And then you need two pieces cut at three and three quarter by three and three quarter. Two of those. Okay, then I'm using the Mocha Morning designer paper, and this is cut at two by four and a quarter. And then you'll need some glimmer paper, and this is the silver. So we're going to go ahead and grab the big shot. Okay, so we're going to use the holiday stocking today. We're going to mainly cut out the stocking here, but the cardstock is going to fit over top of the whole die. So I'm going to take both pieces, layer it over that. And then I'm going to send this through the big shot. Okay, so we mainly want the boot or the stocking. Okay, then we're going to take the three and a half inch circle die. We're going to lay both pieces of cardstock over that. Okay, then we're going to use the stocking again, and we're going to use the Mocha Morning designer paper, and we're going to place both of those pieces right over top of the top of the stocking, right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this. Okay, so now we have two stockings, two circles, and then the top of your stocking, which is going to go up here. So we're going to take our circles, and I went ahead and cut a piece of computer paper with the three and a half inch circle die. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this over top of the black, and I'm going to punch out about a half of the circle of the one and three quarter. And you're going to do that to both pieces. Okay, so for one of your boots, I'm just going to go ahead and put adhesive, the snail adhesive. And then I'm going to position this three and a half inch circle. You're going to line the bottom up with the stocking. And you're just going to kind of turn it so that one and three quarter circle is going to make your curvature for your point of your witch's boot and it should line up at the bottom of your stocking on the back side so I'm just going to go ahead and add some more adhesive to the back of the circle here and you're going to do the same thing on this one but remember it's going to be the opposite side so if you want to line it up just know that this is going to be on the back side. So you can just go ahead and kind of position it on your stocking, add your adhesive, and then just line that one up with the previous one. You find that a little bit easier. Okay, so you should have two of your stockings. One's going to be in the opposite side. Let me add some more adhesive on this. Okay. So now we're going to grab the big shot again because we're going to emboss this with the embossing folder. So let me grab that. Okay, so I have my embossing folder here. And I'm going to take the boot. And you're just going to place the boot inside the embossing folder with the top of your stocking hanging out. And you remember, you want the Stampin' Up! logo on the top. So the embossed image is going to pop up. So we're just going to make our sandwich. And then send that through the big shot. And when you emboss the stocking, it kind of camouflages this circle. So you can hardly see it when it's embossed, like this one. You can kind of see it, but it's kind of camouflaged with the embossing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the other one. Remember with the Stampin' Up! logo facing up. of our pieces of our stocking are done right there all right so let's go ahead and move this big shot out of the okay way. So now we're ready to put our stocking together now I'm going to use the Tombow Malty and I have used the sticky strip 
on the stocking. And the trick to the sticky strip, because you don't need to go around every edge of your stocking with the sticky strip. So just kind of touch the highlights of your stocking. So you're just going to put sticky strip here, maybe here, and around the heel, and then around here. But we're going to use the Tombow Multi. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and apply the glue to one of the stockings. The only drawback with using the glue is you're going to have to have that set for a little bit so it dries. Okay, so let me just get my fingers here. Okay, so you're just going to position the stocking together, line it up, and then press it down. And like I said, you're going to have to have that dry a little bit. So just set that aside. And I went ahead and made one already, so I have it all set, ready to go. So this one's already been glued with the Tombow Multi. Okay, so then I went ahead and also made a template with the, the stocking, but this time it's with the heel. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position this over top of the stocking when it's put together. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut at an angle here for the heel part of the boot. So it should look like that. How cute. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add the stocking topper part of the stocking with the Mocha Morning designer paper. And this is like a velvet. So pretty. Position that right over there. Flip it over. And then add the other piece. Lining it up. Just like that. Okay, so now you're going to take your word window punch and then you're going to take your silver glimmer paper and you're going to punch out three with the word window punch. Then you're going to take your crocodile, and I'm using the 3 16th hole punch on the crocodile, and I'm just going to punch a hole on one end of the word window punch. So it looks like that. And you're going to do all three of them like that, and I went ahead and did the other two. So we have the three right here. Then you're going to go ahead and add some adhesive to the back side of those. And then you're just going to position this right on top of your witch's boot. Okay, so then you're just going to go ahead and cut from the back side. I find that's a little bit easier. last one. So cute. Okay, so there's your witch's boot. Now I'm going to take the shimmer paint, which is the champagne mist, and I got my little dauber here. I'm just going to shake this shimmer paint up, and then I'm just going to dab the dabber into the paint and the lid, and then I'm just going to go across this embossed image with the shimmer paint. So cute! I love it! And then for the tag I stamped Have a Wicked Halloween and that's from the Wicked Cool stamp set right here. And I stamped that on the crumb cake, punched that out with the one inch square punch, and then layered that onto the black, which is punched out with the scallop square punch. And then I punched a hole, and then I added some Clipso Coral ruffled ribbon. Put a dimensional on the back side of that. I'm just going to position this right here. How cute! And then you can take your candy and slide it in. How cute is that? And then here's the other one that we made at Susan's. Okay, have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye!